We've learned kind of the example that she set of coming up with a plan and a strategy to fight for women's rights and just not letting go. There's like a tenaciousness and a long game that she's been playing through her whole career from the time she was a student to the time she was a lawyer up until being a judge and then finally a justice where we're kind of one step at a time making progress. And you know, you can, you can make slow and steady progress. You don't have to achieve everything you dream of in a day. The point is that the discriminatory line almost inevitably hurts women. I did see myself as kind of a kindergarten teacher in those days because the judges didn't think sex discrimination existed. I interviewed her about seven years ago for another project about uh, the women's movement and so at that time I learned a lot about her story and that's when I realized a lot of people don't know this story. I've admired Justice Ginsburg for a long time but I feel like the process of really immersing ourselves in our in her story to tell this film kind of like ratcheted up the level of, of yeah. admiration and um, you know and really frankly sometimes awe at what she's been able to accomplish and the amount of energy that she pours into it. We thought that this story is so important to be told uh, for women and we looked around and thought why not hire a female cinematographer and then why not hire a female editor and we just kept going. Not that there weren't a few men on our crew, there were, but uh, the major positions in the, in the uh, film were uh, occupied by women and it was a great atmosphere. We had so much fun so much making fun. this film. It was it was great.